Hey, it's Ryan from ModX, and today we're going to talk about staging, so let's dive in. Specifically, we're going to talk about Backstage, which is our take on staging powered exclusively in ModX Cloud. Before we start, let's define what staging is. Put simply, staging is taking a website from one server and getting it into another server. The reasons for this are many, and we'll go over those now. Backstage lets you safely work on website changes out of the public eye. When something is ready to go live, you click a button to push it to production. Traditionally, this meant an all or nothing affair and usually required deep technical expertise. But we changed that with Backstage in ModX Cloud, bringing selective content pushes, approvals, publishing roles, multiple targets, and more to anyone that hosts in ModX Cloud. We think it's really cool. Now for a quick demo. We're gonna change the headline and the copyright because it's woefully out of date. We log into the back end of our staging website and we'll start editing the home page. This one happens to be powered by our front end drag and drop editor, Fred. We'll start with the headline and save that. Now in this site, the footer's controlled by a chunk that's often used in ModX when you wanna share things across multiple templates. There's our copyright, we'll update that to 2023. We'll save it and we'll go back to the dashboard which shows the site footer change and the homepage update. We'll start by pushing the copyright across. What it does is it actually builds a snapshot of the changes to that element and then it pushes them across to the production website and then clears the cache so it'll show. Right now it's building the package. Now it's pushing it across and it's done. When we come back to the website, the production website, the copyright has changed to 2023 and the headline is still the same. We'll go back and repeat that process, check the change that we want to send and deploy it. We could also say we wanna skip it by clicking this wait for next change button. So we'll deploy that. One of the neat things that you'll notice about Backstage also is that it includes all the images and things that are associated with it. It also tracks users and other things that are used to build ModX websites. And now our headline is updated. What I just showed was the most common use case for staging, where you make changes on a staging server out of the public eye safely, and then you push them to the production site when they're ready. Backstage can also be used for a lot of other use cases, like failover, where you're sending it to both your primary site and your failover site. Design library or themes, where you're sending all your assets for your design of your websites to both your main site and maybe an intranet. Backstage can also save you a ton of time when you're working on a many month site redesign. You can push your content to just the redesign site, just the production site, or both. That way, all your content is already in place once you finish the redesign. So that's Backstage. I hope you can see how it makes collaborating on websites easier, safer, faster, and even more fun. Try it yourself today at the URL shown on the screen or in the video description. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy modexing.